If you're watching this video, then you've already signed up to the National Batson Churches study, and you've watched part one of the National Batson Churches survey video. With the National Batson Churches study, we aim to survey over 700 churches across four years. And there's a few differences between the National Batson Churches study and Church Bat Detectives. We're asking you to take samples of droppings that you find for later DNA analysis. And we're also asking you to put up a static detector in the chancel so we can identify any bat species present. We want everybody to use the same kit. So to do this, you'll need to book your equipment in advance. As we've only got limited numbers, please do this early to ensure that the equipment is available for your preferred date. If you find accumulations of droppings during a bat evidence survey, we'd like you to collect a sample for later DNA analysis. To do this, you should wear the gloves provided. This will avoid contaminating the sample. Take the lolly stick and use it as a spoon to put approximately five to seven droppings in the vial, along with a couple of the silica gel tablets. Each vial we provide you with will have a unique code on it, and this includes a unique identifier for the church and a letter. On the envelope we provide, please write down the code that's on the vial and whereabouts in the church the sample was taken. Once you've finished, please put the vials into the envelope and secure it before sending it back to us. If there are multiple areas of droppings within the church, then these count as a different sample. Therefore, with each new area, you should collect another sample of five to seven droppings, wear a different pair of gloves and use a new lolly stick. There is a maximum of three vials per church, and due to funds, we can't promise that all of these will be analysed. If there are multiple samples, then please prioritise areas with larger accumulations from distinctly different areas of the church. If the church representative doesn't mind, it's good to leave the bat detector out for two nights. If the church is locked, it can stay in position. But if the church is open during the day, it would be really useful to ask the representative to take the detector in during the day and place it out again in the evening. When you receive the Pearsonic bat detector, we'll have set it up for you, but you will need to put the batteries in, turn it on and enable the sleep mode. Place the bat detector on the tripod at an approximate 45 degree angle, making sure that the microphone is facing the nave where the congregation sit. Once you've put the batteries in the bat detector, look on the right hand side, there's a small black lever Switch that upwards to turn the device on. When you do this, you'll see a moving sequence through four different screens. One saying Pearsonic, another one saying the date and time, another one the battery. And then finally, you'll get a fourth screen where numbers are going up and down. Once you get to this screen, press a small white button on the right hand side of the detector, which will bring you to the main menu. When you're on the main menu, Use the black dial on the right hand side of the device. Turn it clockwise to move through the different menu options until you get to sleep menu. When you're on sleep menu, press the small white button on the right hand side of the detector. Once you're on the sleep menu, you'll see a few things appear. It will first say sleep mode disabled and then setting saved. And then finally, you'll see something that says main menu sleep menu. When this appears, you can press the white button on the right hand side of the device. You should now see something that says sleep from 6.30am. If this is the case, press the left hand button on the bat detector. You'll then see something that says sleep until, and this should say 7.15 in the evening. If this is correct, again confirm this using the white button on the left hand side of the bat detector. If the timings are wrong for any reason, you can alter these using the black dial on the right hand side of the device. Once you've done this, you'll see a screen that asks you to confirm sleep now. Once you see this, press the button on the right hand side of the device. The screen will go dim and you'll see the words, please do not disturb. As we have limited equipment, it will be really useful if you're able to send back the equipment as soon as possible after your survey and there are a number of ways to get that back to us. We do understand that you have a busy life and we want to make it as easy as possible for you.
I hope that you found this video useful. And if you want more information, there's more online on the resources pages of the website. But importantly, I'm looking forward to getting the detector back from you and seeing what you found within the church. Best of luck.